Hey guys, it's Tech Rain here. In today's video, we're going to be fixing my brother's PC. So, if you guys did not know, recently I just woke up this morning to actually just work on YouTube stuff to get ready for the next big video because we're doing a $500 PC build video. But before I went to get the parts here today, my brother actually came to my room and was like, Hey, I need help. My PC's not working and it's got a black screen, which, yeah, uh, it's got a black screen, all right. So, what's happening, which is interesting here, is that supposedly what he did was he installed the newest drivers for his pc because you know nvidia drivers are nvidia drivers you update them they usually work with everything uh but before that happened he actually was trying to update marvel rivals because he was using 90 percent of his memory that's a bit alarming so what happened was i turned it on or he was trying to figure it on out and of course it does this it goes into the bios first so you see the bios is right there and after the bios it's gonna boot for a second and it's gonna go completely dark and there it is and it went dark it went like a grayish color instead of black so yeah we're gonna try to figure that out here today i think i have already an idea you could probably see it on camera if you play really close attention to right here it has only one stick of ram installed i don't know why it's not even in the right spot it's in spot it's in slot three not slot two so let's take a closer look at this so you can see already what could be wrong with this pc is that the ram slot here is actually installed into the three slots so we're actually going to unplug this little guy remove this of course it's one of those ram slots where you have to open up just from one side to get it on out so yeah i'm also wondering what the heck this is 16 gigabyte single stick of memory so that's what he was using for ram which is kind of funny just a single stick which is not particularly the best i know his gpu is either a 2060 or 2070 which is perfectly adequate and gate for gaming so what we're gonna do first to see if what the problem with this pc was as if it didn't have enough RAM and see if that fixes the black screen because sometimes that can actually fix it. So what I got here is two Crucial Vengeance actual sticks. I think these are only eight gigabytes for 16, which is fine. Uh, we're just trying to install them to the proper slots and make sure he actually like boots. So we'll put this in for the time being. My least favorite kind of RAM slots are the ones where one side opens and the other side doesn't because it's always a pain in the install. It's never proper. And also you're more likely to damage your RAM sticks that way. That's what I've at least noticed because it's harder to install and then even if you have it at the right angle it's kind of weird we got the second stick in so we'll see with this if it just posts so best case scenario we plug this back in just works so turn the power switch click the button up top and she's booting which is awesome i'm still not getting any picture so okay i'm gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on to see if that makes a difference it's weird the cpu fans doesn't spin off it and so doesn't the gpu the gpu only one of the gpu fans are spinning i'm kind of curious to see if the gpu died so what we're gonna do is we're gonna temporarily uninstall the gpu and install a different card because i'm curious to see if maybe the gpu is going bad because that is a possibility it's very unlikely for a gpu to go bad so we're just gonna quickly uninstall this by pushing the latch at the bottom unscrewing the two screws from our two and also three slots Lot. set those two aside so we don't lose them damn that took a minute to get out of there that, that's a beefy card so what we're gonna do is slap in this 2060 just to see if that makes a difference i don't think it will if there's something wrong but it could best case scenario maybe it's just gpu is going bad okay right, let's see if this does it switch the gpu to the 2060 cpu still doing that weird thing where the fans spin stop but that should hopefully just be the cpu trying to do its thing and do a, a repost why am i not seeing a picture and since we know the gpu is not getting a picture i want to see switching to the cpu for the picture will work because some cpus from intel have integrated graphics i don't remember if this one exactly does and i'll be honest with you i have no idea what cpu has i ran into a new issue now so for some reason there is an actual HDMI port on the back side of this motherboard, meaning that in all fairness, it should be able to display an output to it. But the issue I'm having is not with uh, the output, it's actually plugging in the cable. It doesn't want to work. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try, this is something I don't usually do. I'm going to see if plugging it back into the three slot did anything, because he had his ramp slot originally in the three slot, so maybe his two and four slots are bad. Doubt that. But we'll try this just to kind of see if it does anything okay that doesn't make any sense yeah, moment of truth does it go gray okay we got in the windows we have our culprits i'm 90 percent confident to say this gpu is hdmi's or something's wrong with it uh so i think this is bad and then the other thing with it is is this ram stick i think is faulty because it's not working anymore so 
looks like it's two dead components. It also does seem as though his motherboard doesn't want to work properly either, whereas like two and four slots are bad on his board. That's fun. So let's go get him, tell him what happened. So I have some good news and some bad news. What do you want to hear first? Here's the good news. The good news is your PC is working again. Try signing into it. So you're able to get in your PC, just try to load a game or something like that. So I figured out a few things. So first of all, your GPU is bad. That's one one thing. It like powers, but doesn't display. So there's something could be wrong. Also, your RAM is dead. But the thing that's more of an issue to your PC is your actual inside your PC. What do you see about your PC that doesn't look right? Can you notice the thing that's wrong? This. No, that's not it. It's your RAM Baka. Oh. So you have... You're supposed to sell RAM into your two and four slots. Yeah. So your two and four slots are probably dead because I could not get them to work no matter what I did. Uh -huh. And the three slots, not the proper slot. So right now, instead of you having your normal like 16 gigabytes of RAM, you have an eight gigabyte stick right now. So mm. yeah, you, you, that's why you're running into issues because what's happening, you have single channel. So it's overloading that RAM slot, which is causing this to heat up be really hot. So I assume this was happening a lot, which killed it over time. Yeah. So you're gonna have to get like a new GPU. Uh, and a new board, plus some other stuff. Uh, yeah, you, huh? uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't have any, uh, <coughs> I have a few extra, but I'm more likely, you, you might want to just like upgrade your PC all together. You're gonna run into limitations of gaming no matter what, because just the RAM alone. So, what's your honest thoughts, Bird? This sucks. It's supposed to have been like seven or eight years since I've had this computer, so I guess it's 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 done its job. It might be. PC. Oh my god, you little shit. <laughs> Speaking of which, this video is sponsored by. Yeah, does anyone want to sponsor the next video for his PC build? Because we might be doing a PC build for him. I don't know if we will, but you know he can be patient with his single channel memory and his very wrong slot and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, want to say anything to the camera before we go? I want to say G Man's the best. Yes, I'm such an amazing older brother. G Man's the best. Greatest YouTuber around. I try my best. Right, I'll see you for another one. Gmail out.